Hi, welcome to a short overview of Arca Linux D Plasma. We have uh, installed everything on VirtualBox, and this is our this is our Light DM manager. We log in, we see some animation, splash screen, a wired connection. Yes, we don't want to see this anymore. And then a nice wallpaper. I've already been tinkering with it. There's a variety in here. We have the wallpaper selector. Everything is available so that's this one that came from uh, variety itself and we have well a menu with lots of applications lots of choices development stuff and uh, games a lot of games a lot a lot of games nothing to do with all these choices it's all plasma so plasma is 2.7 gigabytes big meaning the normal releases we do is about 2 gig right so 700 megabyte is just plasma so what you get uh, for the 700 megabyte a lot of software kde or plasma software is installed out of the box next to our own uh, tools and our own um, applications will have a lot of k applications so often they have a k in front and then you can um, check out the system settings which is pretty big which actually is also here system settings and it's in the system settings that you are blown away with all the options that there are and that's one of the reasons why i have been postponing tutorials about this and in the meantime it's holiday time so uh, but there's lots of information here it's just packed with possibilities which makes it of course also more difficult as well so when clicking here this look and feel is just click and apply in this case let's take a breeze dark so you see something happening so this is what is breeze dark with icons from breeze and you can go ahead and i'm gonna put a back the light on desktop theme you can check out this guys here air and breeze dark and um, and so on this one is at this point in time well and um, we need a Sherlock Holmes for that so if anybody has a knowledge how to uh, why this thing is just running and running and after 30 or 60 seconds I don't know we get a cursor themes so there is something we should uninstall or install so if the knowledge is out there check out what we installed on Arcanix D and um, help us fix this but that's the only thing that really bugs me at this point in time mid July 2018 the splash screen is what we just saw earlier on, this black screen with this uh, animated icon. Uh, for instance, when you install the Numix, icon, the Numix theme, that's it, yeah. it's a red wallpaper with an N that's animated, that's um, well giving some, some uh, uh, well, movement, some animation, right? So while that is loading, we just go from somewhere else and configure the desktop maybe. Say, okay, let's apply the desktop and we have another a wallpaper that I just downloaded by the way so get new wallpapers there it is gonna take breeze snow in, in the meantime um, so get new wallpapers goes to the net actually and, and you can have meadows if you want to install and then meadows will be installed on in your system and there it is apply so we have now meadows installed so it's um, it's easy and it's it's always more or less like that here as well so if you want to install a new theme, new cursor theme, you just go look, check out the cursors and the stars and all that. You can even vote, I guess, uh, as well. So, yeah, everything is here to make the people comfortable. And here's a splash screen, which is actually the thing you just saw, this animated thing. It's in uh, black with this, well, circle that's going around. And you can install again new themes and all that colors a lot of colors here again you can change get new scheme for some reason it's not there anymore it's now here well maybe they'll fix it later fonts can be bigger I've already made it a little bit bigger and you just click on here click there done save apply of course in the button there a lot of icons you know me lots of icons papyrus is there there's only one thing you have to remember about icons Let's take papyrus that's they're not created maybe one for kdo plasma and two 
they might not be applied at the, at the first go, at the first try. So this does not look like it's a plasma folder, if you see up here and here, then know if I'm correct in this matter, I do think it's correct. But it does happen if we just switch from the one and the other, that sometimes you see, hey, this icon is not changed. And the only thing you do have to do actually, that's a great tip. So numeric sign, circle, light, for instance, all these kinds of guys. So if anything does not look good, this does not look good. This is not, the, it should be in a yellow uh, folder. And then, ah, there we go. Then you log out. So this is the tip. Log out of your system. Let Plasma reload everything, get back from, well, cache probably, icons that are cached. And then everything is different, you know. Everything looks really different now. All the icons, if Numix has created them for KDE, will be there. It's uh, a huge work, lots of board games for instance, um, you have to make all these games. To be honest, I've been postponing making all these icons for KDE because it's a lot of work, might be even a week's worth uh, work in there. So anyway, all the icons are here, some of the icons are not from Numix as you see, that's not a Numix conform design here. But anyway, um, so great, we have icons and they work, super. Just log off, log on again. Application style is important since some of the things are GTK related. So you decide what look you want to have on GTK3 applications and what icons they should have like Thunar, what icons should you use in Thunar, etc. Uh, desktop behavior, let's um, apply, okay. Let's go, let's like tell one more thing, one more tip, and then call it a day. So we have lots of, so many settings to do. We have not talked about widgets installing widgets, some kind of uh, yeah, element you can put on your system, CPU, network information, stuff like that. But um, this is something people will probably look for and it's not there. So the wobbly effect, so the element that you move with your um, window and it wobbles like in compass. Uh, you've seen it, see me do it on videos. It's not here on VirtualBox. And why? Because it says exclude desktop effects not supported by the compositor. So KWIN does not support wobbly windows when on VirtualBox. Otherwise, I would do this and say, hey, it wobbles, but it does not wobble. So forget about it. It's not on VirtualBox. Install it on SSD. That's where you should install it. Anyway, so first decide on VirtualBox, hey, is this thing something for you? Because it is a big desktop. Here you see the new mix wallpapers, um, I guess for the folders. And it's it looks complex, but I don't use send as email attachment. I don't use decrypt verify all files in folder, etc., etc. But some point in time you might. That's the point. There's a lot of possibilities in here and the question is, is this something for you? That's something you should decide. But Plasma has been around for whew, years and um, it's worth a look. It's worth a look, really. I've been working on it for a month now and uh, will be working even more longer for it on it before making any tutorials at all. Enjoy Arch Linux D Plasma. There is also Arch Linux B Plasma, an ISO. You just pop it in, only burn it on USB and then install it. Or you work your way up with the Arch Linux D ISO and then install the scripts. All right, cheers.